Hello everybody, welcome back to NASCAR Bros. Today we have a brand new NASCAR 124 diecast. We have Chase Elliott's 2022 Dover win. Uh, this car's pretty good, solid amount of confetti. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the box. Uh, no, I haven't had a video in a couple weeks here, but since it's the off season, uh, hard to find videos to make. So um, this will be the last video before the Bush Clash, which is going to be on Sunday. We can get, in, get back to the normal routine of memes after the race. So... Uh, that's gonna be pretty exciting, but uh, here I'm just gonna go ahead and check out the box. This is not the Elliott box I could not find it. So this is just the Chastain box uh, From his Coda win so we will not have the tab there on the side to look at but uh, other than that same box He's got the race win sleeve standard finish and Lionel um, Only thing different is that we don't have the tab there. So not sure how many were made. Um, I'm sure quite a bit though. So uh, That's gonna be the box uh, Here though, we do have the accessories. We've got your standard win sticker and you have your race winning card, which uh, I like this one. You got Elliot with the trophy. You got the car in the back. Uh, Chase Elliott, Durham Max Driving 400 winner, May 1st, 2022, Dover, Delaware. And you can pause there and read the back. And then we're going to check out the car. So this is a pretty good race win. Uh, not as good as his Nashville win, which I did get. And it was supposed to come today, but it did not arrive. So uh, hopefully it comes tomorrow. Um... Obviously, it won't come Sunday, so hopefully tomorrow I would like to get uh, the car before the clash happens just so I can have a video out uh, on Tuesday. So uh, hopefully that gets here, but for now, we're going to check out the Dover win, which is uh, surprisingly a pretty solid race win. I didn't think it would be this good, so uh, starting out on the left front here. Luckily, it is white, so you can see lots of rub build up here. Get the carbon fiber splitter, a few pieces of confetti there from the Sunoco logo. Move up, you got Goodyear. You got your Goodyear Eagles here with a few markings on them. You got the Cup Series logo, which is really high up on this car. Like, you can see it. It's almost up on the hood, which is strange for sure. But I think they had to make room for the NASCAR Salutes logo there. Move over to the left. You got the number nine, a few pieces of red confetti with your yellow arrow stripes here. I got Napa on the blue background with the stripe going all the way back around. A Shock Hooters and Lumar there. You got Auto Parts. Unifirst and Ferris, uh, Ferris, I think that's Ferris Tire Service, uh, honorary pit crew member. And then you got bioethanol ring there, and just a little bit of confetti on the side. We do have a solid amount here on the window next to the uh, post here, which we have some contingencies like uh, Exalta, Cincinnati, and Mac Tools, and Hooters there. Uh, Chase Elliott there on, on the name row with the Georgia flag. And then you got a few more stripes up here on the post. A Kelly Blue Book and Valvoline on the back as well. Moving over to the rear of the car. It's got Napa Auto Care and the Camaro in black with the yellow stripe going around the back. Blue on the top, white on the bottom. Uh, a few pieces of confetti kind of stuck there on the little ledge. Then you got the white number nine, Chevrolet bow tie, and the two lights here in the back as well as the camera and the very tall splitter, once again, which is the wrong height. Uh, but again, not super big deal, but definitely annoying. Uh, it'd be nice if they actually fix that. Uh, so hopefully the Nashville win has the correct spoiler on it, but I guess we'll see. Uh, moving on here though, on the right side, we have pretty solid confetti actually. So you got uh, pretty good confetti along here. On the right side, you got Unifirst again. Um, you got the strut going here along the side. Again, arrow stripes here, Napa, uh, auto parts. This is the only damage on the whole car. It is just a little scrape there from the wall here on the right rear. I uh, got A-Shock Hooters Lumar. Uh, a little bit of confetti here, uh, quite a bit here, again, on the uh, ledge right there. I uh, got some on the window, a little bit here on the back window, uh, a little on the back. Um, moving up, though, it gets pretty clean, except for the... Rubber build up there, which uh, is good. I wish there was a little bit more, though. So, uh, looks nice. Then you got the carbon fiber splitter once again. Uh, moving on to the front. Uh, confetti caught up here on the grill. Um, the Kevin Harvick Richmond win is going to be completely covered right there. Um, excited to see that one come out. Definitely going to be interesting looking. But uh, since it's like, you know, Kind of a rough pattern, I guess you want to say, because uh, it is the grill. A lot of confetti has been getting caught right there. So uh, that's definitely going to be uh, interesting to see uh, on a few cars that we get. So 
Uh, that's just there on the front. You got the blue number nine. You got your headlights. Hendrick Motorsports there. Then onto the hood. You can see you've got Napa. You got the hood vents. I'm gonna pop open the hood here. Uh, underneath you got your standard engine block this year, so pretty bland. And then underneath the hood, you got a lot of sponsors. Actually, you got Chevrolet, Napa Auto Parts, Lumar, Hooters, Unifirst, A Shock Wicks, Philly Blue Book. Uh, you can see on the window, solid amount of confetti there. You got Elliot and the tear offs there, as well as the vent. On the roof, good confetti with the white number nine, yellow outline, Napa Know How, Elliot there. Uh, pretty good confetti here on the rear window and on the deck lid where you got auto parts for Napa there. But that's it. Um, good race win for sure. Uh, you see the bottom, just your standard base. Uh, but other than that, good race win, surprisingly. Uh, I didn't think there'd be enough confetti on it to be good, but uh, I found this one for a pretty cheap thing. It was 60 bucks, so uh, I decided to pick one up. And a uh, solid race win for sure. Not going to be as good as the Nashville or really any race win he has. Um, excited to see the Atlanta win because that one is pretty caked, but uh, probably not going to get this one unless I end up selling this one, which is a possibility. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.